Room service, fresh towels. Fresh towels. Hey, we're Dub Trio, and you're watching us on synthesis.net. Hey, what's happening? We're Dub Trio. I'm Dave. I play <laughs> guitar in Dub Trio. <laughs> and I am Joe. I play the drums in Dub Trio. And cymbals. I play cymbals, too. Yeah. Percussion. Percussions. I'm a bass player. My name's Stu. That's us. That's you. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> work those angles, bro. Yeah. You're blocking my shot. Yeah, make sure you look at that. Really? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> okay, so you guys said you got in uh, Monday? Yeah. 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 Not true. Yeah. Every day is a blur yeah. for yeah. me. Monday or Tuesday, but we played on our first show was on Tuesday. Okay. And it, it's been going well so far, like aside from your shows that you played, like going around checking out everything. I haven't checked out shit really. Really? Not a lot of time. Oh, am I allowed to curse? Oh yeah. Say whatever you want. All right. Had two Fuck. fucking good Not shows. Not a lot of fucking time. <laughs> yeah. Two good shows. Two for two. Yeah. I really enjoy. Actually, I saw the first time Municipal Waste. Mm -hmm. They play our show. Or we play their show, however you want to look at it, on Tuesday. That's they cool. were great. Yeah, so it was uh, Iron Lung. Iron Lung. Yeah. Oh, were, yeah. No, I was at that show. Yeah, that was fun. You were here. Yes. I couldn't remember the did. name of that band. Cancer Bats played. That was a fun one. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Have you guys played South by Southwest before? Did you play last year? Yeah, three years, three years, years ago. ago. Four years ago. Four, four years, years ago. ago. Oh, okay. When we started. Okay. It was legendary. Yeah. <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys have a lot of shows then? Like one? Oh, just one show? Yeah, we just yeah. did the one, the in and out kind of stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask uh, some questions about the band. You, know, you, know, um, uh, you guys obviously have a lot of influences going into, into your sound. Um, and I, I was just wondering, when did you guys first start kind of kicking around with the hybrid of like, the dub and the radio? Around. I like to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've always played in all those styles, I think. Yeah. You know, but when this band started, uh, it started just naturally. We didn't try to start a band. We just started playing around. And <clears throat> we got labeled as the Dub Trio, that trio that plays dub music. Mm -hmm. And we're playing all we play all kinds of things. And then as we kept on playing, we just started using it more and more of whatever we want to play. Mm. So, I don't know when. It's just like evolved. It evolved into this. Like, you know, we just always play what we want to play, and yeah. this is the direction that's going. Yeah. We, we read, after our first record, we realized we wanted to do more and more uh, recordings, you know, mm. and we realized that there's no limitation. There's nobody coming uh, creatively, what to do, or just you know, so we have like absolutely no limitations stylistically. We don't have, we don't fit in anywhere. We don't need to fit in anywhere. Mm. We're not trying to be on a major label, and we're not. So no one, it's good that way. No one's like shoving something down our throat. Yeah, like, yeah. No, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of shit. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> um, I mean, is it cool for you guys though to be able to? go to play a show and there might be fans of more of the, the reggae or the dub stuff and the fans of the metal and kind of like being able to appeal to them and introduce maybe people who are way into metal to more dub and kind of vice versa. I feel like uh, the dub heads are a little less open to the metal than the metal heads being open to the dub. Really? As far as like experience of playing shows. Um, we're, we're just trying to like find our own fans that are just fans of our music. People who like music in general, you know, who can see integrity in what we're doing. It's like, hopefully everyone digs it or sees something that they like from it. But not to generalize, but I feel like that's that was my consensus, that like, the dub cats like it a little less, because it's less mm. reggae. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know? I don't think we necessarily um, Stop think of it. Yeah, dub's not, we don't necessarily think of it synonymously linked to reggae. Mm -hmm. It's more sort of a concept than it is. A genre, if you will. 
um, sort of a way to approach composition or playing a piece um, than actually a style. Like, dub doesn't necessarily equal reggae in our world. Mm -hmm. We're not Bob Marley. <laughs> you know, we're, we're not trying to be a yeah, There you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then as far as like um, uh, your approach when you play live too, um, you guys are able to do a lot of the things live that, that you hear on the album, a lot of the different um, electronic manipulation and stuff like that. Um, is it really important to you to kind of, to kind of not so much mirror what is on the album, but, um, or do you guys like to experiment and jam on stage too? It's all, go ahead. all the dub stuff is like basically improvised over a form. Yeah. And so every night is completely different. And that's like where we get the fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's definitely, it's first of all, improvised, right? Mm -hmm. And very reactionary, conversational kind of stuff, you know? Uh, there's a dialogue through our, our dub effects. And that's like the fun part, really. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never doing a gig just playing bass ever again. Yeah. <laughs> boring. Boring. Okay. You'll recognize the songs, but yeah. you know, it's subtly different and like, you know. Yeah. We do different things that you know, in, in dub music it's just like a remix mm. of a song, you know. So we take take it every night like we're remixing the song. Mm. You can still recognize it, you know. Yeah. You know, we could slap effects on a certain section or different things and where the bass can stop playing for a little bit, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's taking that concept of dub and and using it live, like yeah. as the remix. You know, it's essentially dub is the is, is the original remix. You know, mm -hmm. just taking mm -hmm. content, popular songs, and doing dubs versions, remixes, if you will, of mm -hmm. them. So that's what we bring live. You know. Yeah. Cool. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, the only the only track with a vocal is uh, via Mike Patton. Um, can you guys talk a little bit about uh, your relationship with with him and also just kind of like how that all came about. I like to go out to eat at really nice restaurants that are expensive with my pet and when I can afford it. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard, <laughs> it's hard he, to keep up with that. And he likes to eat at, at expensive restaurants every single night. Really? <laughs> he drops so It's usually like food. once or twice a tour I get to catch up. Yeah. He do one. Yeah. Yeah. He likes good food. Eating the more dinners. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We play in a band he has called Peeping Tom. Yeah. We have the rhythm section. He was on the uh, the last studio record as well. Oh, okay. And that's how it came. It came about. We, you know, we're an instrumental band, but for that record, you know, well, before we were an instrumental band, we played with a bunch of singers and like different rock bands and stuff. And uh, we thought it would be fun to do a vocal song with a vocal on it on, the, on that record. So mm -hmm. we basically had a friend of a friend who just emailed him, didn't know him, just asked him if he wanted to do it. And surprisingly enough, he said, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he put that song on the Peeping Tom record and we became his uh, backup band for that. Okay. I remember uh, and now we go Roar, fancy Roar was <laughs> like, we need a single for the record. <laughs> and so one day we, we wrote so like a, uh, we're like, all right, let's make a single, and you know, just, like, just let's make a rock song. <laughs> yeah. We can so, form. Yeah, so we, so we were like, all right, we'll create a single. Yeah. Bitches, jag off. <laughs> um, yeah, and actually, it ended up getting like a play or two on K Rock on Love Line. Yeah, we're famous now. Yeah, we're on K Rock. We're famous. <coughs> we're big deal.